Hey, today I'll show you how you can create a custom Tampa Monkey script to augment YouTube search results so that you add the number of likes in the search results. So normally you have number of views and post date with the script, you want to get number of likes as well. Okay, let's do it. Let's begin with making sure that the script is going to run only on YouTube search results and not on other websites. So this URL with an asterisk or wildcard will match all the search results from YouTube. Let's put some simple function in there just to make sure that all works. Okay, let's save, run, and this should give me a simple pop-up with foo in it. We've got the foo, so it works. Now, this task of adding the number of likes next to each of the video can be split into two subtasks. One, adding any string next to the video. And the second task is actually fetching the uh, number of likes. So let's begin with the first bit. Let's have a look at the website source code to find the list of the videos. So I'm going to go here and inspect the element. Okay, so this is the video title. Let's go up the hierarchy to find the list of videos. Okay, this element here, video renderer, this seems to be only one video. So let's go even up in the hierarchy to find the list of all the videos on this website. It seems that this div ID contents and item section render, this contains all the videos and we can look into its children. So all those items uh, inside to iterate over the videos in the search results. So let's do it. I'm going to copy the class attribute of this div to then find it in the console. Let's go to the console. The document keyword refers to the full website so you can use it to then query different bits of the website. And with this query selector all method, we can find the list that we're looking for. Okay, let's see what we're going to get from it. This query returns list of four elements. One of them should be our array of videos. It seems that the last element, so index three, refers to the list of the videos. So we can start coding it in the Tampa Monkey script. I created the function getVideos, which takes the element that we already had in the console. Uh, looks at the third index, so the last element, and looks at its children, and children being separate videos. Now we need a run function to actually iterate over those videos and change their metadata. Okay, so this run function gets the list of the videos, then iterates over the indexes of those videos, fetching each separate video, and then let's just put the output into the console. Now let's call the run function with a slight delay to make sure that the page is properly loaded. The set timeout function gives you a delay in milliseconds, so 3000 refers to 3 seconds. Let's save it and run. Awesome, looking at the console's output, there is a huge list of videos returned by the search results. So let's go back to the first one. And again, I will inspect the source code to figure out how I can get into those elements here. So inspect element and it seems there is this div metadata line um, element and in here we've got two children and we want to get the post date to then adjust it and add some string or piece of text basically to it. I created this function get post time which takes the video element within this element it queries for uh, this div metadata line and the class I just copied from what I get in the source code inspector, so metadata line in this class. And then uh, if the metadata is not null, it returns um, children with index one, so the second children. So the first one is number of views, second one is the post time, as the function says. Now let's adjust the run function to put the post time in the console, just make sure that it works fine. Now I have a list of post times for each video in the search results. So this is the first one, let's just call it the second one. And the second element is, yeah, exactly as needed. Let's append some dummy piece of text to post time to see the script actually doing something. So now the run function should iterate over the videos, get the post times and to each of the post time append the string with 100 likes. 
All right, so now each video in the search result has this 100 likes added in. 100 likes, 100 likes. This is of course not true, so let's figure out how you can get the actual number of likes. So this piece of information is not available on this website. You would normally have to go on the videos page and then get the number of likes. So this is what we need to do. Find a link, go to this link, fetch the number of likes and then um, append it here. So let's follow this link. Now I want to see whether the number of likes is already included in the source code or this number is fetched at some other API call uh, to YouTube service. So I'm going to do view page source and let's find the piece of text which will resemble the likes. It seems that the word like gets matched to the description, maybe likes. Yes, this is the correct match. So you get label 1400 likes. So this is exactly what we want to get. Okay, so this means that in order to get the number of likes, I need to follow the link of the video page and then analyze the source code to get this number. I want to go back to the search results page to see how I can get the link. So from here, again, inspect element. Yeah, so there is this element with ID video title, that makes sense, with the attribute href. And this is the link to the video that we're looking for. Now I've implemented this function get video link. So given the video element, within this element it queries for video title or ID video title, exactly as I found here, and takes the attribute href, appends the domain name for YouTube to actually get the link. Now, how do you use this link to actually get the source code of the website? Well, there is a function for HTTP requests in TampeMonkey. You can use this GM XML HTTP request function to get whatever data you need based on the URL. And then you also need to provide the callback of the function, which is going to be called when the request is finished. And this function is supposed to act on the response of this HTTP request. So I will create a sort of helper function process video, adjust the run function, and then create a dummy um, callback function for the get page. In the process video function, I first need to get the link. Okay, and here let's implement a dummy uh, callback just to get it going. Now I'll go through what the process video function actually does. So it gets the post time from the video element. So already covered that. If this uh, post time is available, it's not, no, then it uh, gets the video link. Again, we covered this. Uh, it calls the get page with this link. And this function uh, is called as a callback and it gets the response. Now, the response is going to be very big because the response is pretty much the whole source code of um, the videos page. And here I'm just appending again 100 likes just so that I can run it and make sure it runs without any errors. Okay, I actually did get an error because this is not defined. I need to load it into the script and you do it in the grant clause. So let's just scroll back up. Grant by default it's none, but let's add this special function. Yeah, I've got the 100 likes dummy string again, so it seems to be working. Now, the last bit is the function which will take the source code of the video page and get the number of likes out of it. Okay, so this function is a bit of a hack. So when you go back to the source code, have a look at where those numbers of like is. It's right before the word likes. So this is what I'm doing here. So here I'm getting the text of the response. So the source code of the website to analyze it as a string. Uh, so I figured out that the number of likes is always before the word likes and then braces. So this is exactly a sort of keyword or anchor that I'm using. And I'm using the index of function in JavaScript to find it. Then I take uh, this index and then 20 characters to the left, because like this should cover even really large uh, number of likes. And then from this new small chunk, uh, I need to create another anchor uh, 
or keyword if you like and this is label the colon so that we like like that and by doing this i can get the left index of the number of likes right so i'm getting chunk so this small element index of and again this uh, left hand side anchor uh, to get the index and now again a small hack to get a substring from the left index uh, till uh, where this number is going to be finishing so by doing this sort of indirect uh, hacky way i can get the string um, with the number of likes from the source code of the website now let's use this function to get the actual number of likes instead of just dummy 100 likes so now the only bit in the process video function i changed is here so now to the post time i append space then the number of likes and again space and likes so let's run it hey there you go 14,000 likes okay let's just uh, close this console 24,000 32,000 okay it seems to be working just fine i hope you learned something today and have fun with your tamper monkey scripts